I'm Adam Moss, and this is Moss Models. Good morning, welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at a little thing that I did a blog post on a couple of years ago and decided uh, it's come up in conversation a little bit recently, so I'm going to do a video on this. And that is how to use logic switches to do a stick bait or stick release based self level. So the idea here is, and I'm just going to zoom out, and I pardon the unfortunately uh, messy desk. Uh, I'm in the middle of building a SIG clipper, and so there is bits of balsa scattered all over my desk because I'd film these videos on my build desk. So the the idea here is, and I've got a new model set up, uh, let's just go so this is ooh. yeah um, go edit. we're going to have to change something a little bit here um, but what we've got here is Actually, you know, we're just going to create a new model. Model select, new model, an engine, two ailerons, no flaps, boom. I'm going to call this launcher. Call it self level. Go in here into the mixer. We're just going to add a var mix, last position. This is stab mode. Output. Set this up as if it was one of the new receivers. And we're going to add a free mix. Last position. Source is going to be trims T5 because I always use trims T5. And add a curve. Call it gain. Type is custom. It's two points. Points config. Second one is 100. So this is a 0 to 100 curve. On a free mix, this set, sets your default gain out to uh, to fifty percent. It's adjustable on my uh, T5 down here, and this is how I always set up gain exactly this way. So if we go back in, we've got our standard mixers. Uh, the only thing we haven't mucked with the uh, the stab mode as of yet, because uh, we'll do that. This is actually going to be, the default is going to be minus 100. Which is stabilizer off. Uh, at least, pretty sure it is. I'll have to just quickly cross check one of my other radios. But the idea of what we're going to do here today is set up uh, a little configuration so that if you let go of the sticks, after two seconds, it'll automatically kick into self-level mode. And the reason for this is very simple. I have this little, uh, it's a 24 inch plank called the Der Flugel. Uh, made by William Nellies, it's a fun, it's an absolute hoot of an airplane, but because it's a two foot span plank, it's super easy to lose orientation on. And I've crashed it once already by doing exactly that. So, the idea here is to, instead of putting a panic mode in, set it up so I can just let go of the right stick and have it on a level after two seconds. So if I'm flying it, you know, I, this thing is a high performance airplane, I'm always giving it some input. I'm not sitting on the, with the stick empty all the time. So, the idea behind having the two-second delay is just so I have to let it go. It goes for two seconds, 
and two seconds is, is short enough that you're probably not going to lose the airplane if there's no control input for two seconds, unless you're low and fast. But it's long enough that you're probably never going to have two seconds of no, no control input on either aileron or elevator, so it won't engage when you're actually actively flying it. It's just, I just, I just lost orientation, take my finger off the stick, boom, it self levels. And the way we do this is logic switches. So we're going to create one, and we're going to call this aileron. So, and we're going to use absolute is less than x, and just so you can see it here, analogs, aileron, and I like 2%. 2% is something that it's not going, so you can see here, goes, let's zoom back, you can see me waggle the stick, it's green when the stick's there, and it is not green as I move as I wiggle the stick. And next we're just going to clone this because that makes it easier to set up. Rename rename that elevator. Switch to elevator, boom. Now this one. Yeah, I accidentally hit inverted. There we go. So you can see, when I'm wiggling the sticks, these things will blip on, blip off. The last one is, and we're just going to call this self-level. I'm so used to typing with my uh, finger that I, d oh, whoops, I spelled level wrong, because I couldn't tell. And this one is going to be AND, or it's going to be AND, logic switches, aileron, and logic switches, elevator. Now you'll notice this go. now as it stands right now, I'll just zoom in so you can read this better, as it stands right now, this comes on immediately when I let go of the stick. We don't want that. We want a couple of seconds of delay before it kicks in because there are points where I'm going to have that stick centered and I don't, and I'm not going to be in a self orientation. It's just a momentary breach. I do not want it trying to self level when I'm just giving no control inputs as it carves through a turn or something like that. So we're going to set delay before active to two seconds. Now, this is going to go false. You can see that turn green. Whenever I give it stick, and we'll just zoom back out so you can see me giving it stick. You can see it's green right now, and I give it stick and it goes false, and I let go of the stick. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, and it's green again. That's what we want, because that is going to trigger our self level. Now, how do we use this? We go back to stab mode, and we're going to do this the modern way for the current one. Uh, hmm. So we're going to, and we're also going to set up the rest of the rates here. So the first thing I'm doing, and this is critical, this is my panic. So I pulled my panic switch on this radio. Actually, you know what, I, I should make this consistent now because I'm using the the back switch SI up as my panic because I have not swapped the two back these two back switches on my X20 Pro and I want this thing to be uh, consistent so we set this to 
plus 100. And we're going to add a new weight. And this is going also going to be that. So logic switches, self-level. And again, we reset this to 100. Note it defaults to whatever your default weight is. Or your current weight. Let's Next up, we're going to set our regular mode on SB, because I always put it on SB, and that's going to be zero. Zero is rate stabilization only. And finally, we're going to go switch down, and this is also going to be 100. So you notice I've got three different ways of getting self-level on here. Uh, one is one is putting it into self-level mode. I will only really use this when I'm tuning the airplane. I don't fly in self-level mode. Uh, there's, to be clear, absolutely not, nothing wrong with doing it. If, it. if it's what you want to do and how you want to fly your airplane, go nuts. You're flying your airplane. That's what's important. Um, and I want to be very clear about this. I'm very passionate about people should fly their airplane the way they want to fly their airplane, so long as they're not putting bystanders or other people's stuff at risk. All right, let's get back into this. So you can see this, and I'm in self-level, so we'll get, knock it out of self-level. And here we go. I'm wiggling, I'm wiggling, I'm wiggling. It's at minus 100. You can see that red line down there. One Mississippi, two Mississippi self-level. The good news is, is that I just can huck the bloody thing when I'm launching it, throttle up, huck it, and I don't even have to worry about pulling in uh, launch mode because it's in self-level already. But there you have it. This is stick-based self-level. It is super easy, super quick. You can see we've 